And number 11, the last question in paper two of the 2016 new hire. Similar sort of an idea to question 10 here. First part, show that this expression on the left is the same as the expression on the right for four marks, with this little strange interval here. Well, it's an identity. I'll start with one side. I'll start with the left-hand side. I know it's just written above. I've just done it now, so I've written it again. So to start changing this to look like that, well, there's no tans. Oh, give you an X back. I'll expand the sign 2x, even though there is a 2x there. I can see this is no use to me. So that would be 2 sin x cos x. And instead of tan, I could write sin x over cos x. And there's that reason for that interval of x, because cos can't be 0. So you can't have pi up in 2, and you can't have 3 pi up in 2. So to save it passing through, it would have to be between the two of them. You probably just ignored that anyway. So they would cancel out and leave you with 2 sine squared x. Now, it's worth 4 marks. But the thing is, when you look at these two parts, they're the same. Because cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. You wonder, well, how, how can I get 4 marks out of that? Because the next line to that is just that equals 1 minus cos 2x. I'll just give a reason to the side then. Since cos 2x equals 1 minus sin square, 2 sine squared x, that means that 2 sine squared x would be 1 minus cos 2x equals right-hand side. If you feel inclined, you can put as required. Whereas we used to put QED there. QED, that which was meant to be demonstrated. And part B, given that f of x is sine 2x tan x, the thing you had in the first place, find the derivative. Well, the point is, you don't know how to differentiate a product like this. But since that is equal to this, you could replace that with that. That's an identity. It's identical to it. And differentiate that instead. So f dash dx would be... Well, that would go to zero. Cos goes to negative sine, but it's negative anyway, so it just goes to sine. Now, it is a function of a function, so it's of 2x. We'd have to multiply by 2. I'll just put that to the front. So there it is, 2 sine 2x. Doesn't look like it's worth two marks, but it is.